Look at dude on the scooter, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> so there's this interesting development that's happening right now. I'm about 10 minutes late. I'm gonna go trade this Desuron for a motorcycle. Let's go because I'm late. Funny is, this isn't my first time trading a Suron for a motorcycle. In such a hurry that I drove with my mirror just like that. <laughs> All right, guys, we we made it. What's up, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro! Oh my God, bro! Oh my God, dude! What did you do? Holy shit! Clipping shit, you know. Oh my God! Did you? Was this a stunt bike? Or were you yeah, stunning? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was trying to oh, wheelie it a little. Christ, and came man. down and didn't realize I was that close. Yeah. Clipping dude, were you at the stunt spot down here? Yeah, 176. All right, all right on. I'm Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, this is it, it, man. Yeah. Beautiful. It's Thank loaded you. up because I gotta go pick up my daughter. Yeah. Oh, no, know. you can't help. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not short as <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the up out of here because I gotta pick up my daughter from daycare. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah, no problem. Hey, man, have fun, brother. All right, later, bro. See ya. Yep. I left for five seconds, bro, <laughs> and this guy's already on the Sura. How's it feel? Yeah, it's fun, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's day two. There's the FZ07. It's a 2016, and it only has 5,615 miles. So I can tell this bike was not garage kept because you see all these little spots? Those are all water spots. The dude I bought it from, Michael, did have a garage, but he's only owned this bike for like a couple months. So obviously the previous owner had it stored outside, but the bike itself did come with a bunch of paperwork from the dealership. So other than being stored outside, it was pretty well maintained. It has this eBay looking pipe, which I'm probably gonna replace for a full titanium system because titanium systems on this bike are actually pretty cheap but as you can see right here this brake lever is completely mangled again Michael said it almost dropped but it pretty much fell on his leg and he sacrificed his foot thank you for your service Michael I was gonna replace this piece but I really don't like this style of foot pegs so I went ahead and ordered some Amazon rear sets that are like $130 ship and the best part is it's coming today so rather than trying to bend this back I'm just gonna pull it off for now so that way I can take you guys on a test ride let's go all right so after like three four long hours I figured it out I was trying to put the shifter link right here oh god that's loose I didn't even tighten it but now it's done let this be a lesson to you don't buy those aftermarket rear sets that are from no-name companies with no instructions that took me way too long and way too much frustration all right guys welcome back to another riding and talking we are on the 2016 FZ 07 holy canzoli what a torque monster and it sounds so good with the cross plane too, baby. Yeah. Man, that quick shifter is rough from first to second. <laughs> and I definitely hate this like single finger clutch lever. I'm having to like reach for it. It's annoying as hell. God, this thing's got like a ton of torque down low. That quick shifter is not as good as, you know, my super bike, but I mean, it worked. I'm probably better off just clutching, but this bike has a gas gauge, which is pretty nice. That quick shifter is rough, bro. <laughs> I wonder if I like need to do it up top. All right, the FZ07. It wasn't a bike I was expecting to have. I don't know if some of you OG followers know, I had an FZ09 back in the day. Honestly, a great bike, but inline three just wasn't my thing or cross plane three, whatever Yamaha did. But damn, this FZ07 <laughs> kind of sounds like a Harley it's so weird like i know it's a twin cylinder oh i did that gp shift thing I did. <laughs> look how rough that quick shifter is like first to second it's a, it's un, like it's not even fun i'd rather just pull the clutch in first impressions super super comfortable like i could do long rides with this this is cruiser type man i'm chilling right now is it similar to the triumph no not really because the triumph is really tall the triumph is closer to like a sport bike that has handlebars and this is more like a i guess like a true naked 
That sounds good though, holy shit. So this bike does have a tune, at least that's what I've been told, and uh, I don't know, like I've never ridden a stock FZ07, but I can feel that torque. It's insane, dude. It's like, it's pretty much in every gear, in every freaking RPM. I do love this gray and green color that they got going on. If I were to ever like own another FZ09 or FZ07, it would have been this, and <laughs> now we do. That is way smoother. I'm just gonna do that. First to second, and then second to third, quick shift. Not bad, still a pain in the ass. <laughs> I guess not everything has to have a quick shift or an auto blip. <laughs> but damn, man, this is comfy as hell, dude. I could ride this all day long. I'm glad I actually did register and insure it, because this might be the new daily, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with like every bike I get though. It's like every city I go to, I think I'm gonna move there. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I am kind of missing my mirrors. I only have that left side CRG and when I do run the CRG, I only run the left side. But it's, I don't know, it's been nice riding the Aprilia with both mirrors. I used to run with no mirrors. That was really stupid. <laughs> now I like to see what the hell uh, is going around me. This thing's so cool. Look at this. It's a Subaru Forester. It's like lower. This thing is beautiful, dude. That is really cool. Very cool car, man. Oh yeah, no quick shifter needed. I might just <laughs> just take it off, dude. Cause it's not even, I don't know, in my opinion, quick shifter should be smooth and this one is just rough. God, so much engine braking in this. <laughs> Let go of that throttle, holy shit. Man, what a fun ride though, holy cannoli. That Suron definitely had to go. Now, granted, that Suron was mostly sponsored, so whatever I got for it, I would have been happy. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Get straight around that red light. <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot, dude. <laughs> I was not even paying attention. I was like, I popped it in the second and then first and then I just started going. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily it was the left green and not like uh you know not an actual red light so that means nobody would have uh, ran into me. <laughs> oh my god that, that could have been dangerous. Y'all gotta pay attention man. Don't moto vlog and ride. <laughs> Godly gee whiz. But yeah I put up the sermon for sale and then I mean just the next day this dude Michael hit me up he's like hey I'll, I have a FZ07 would you be down to trade? I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he watches my videos and uh, super chill dude. I don't know. I feel like we both made out. He got a 72 volt Suron. Um, those things are not cheap and to build one yourself, it's pretty costly. Do I think a 72 volt Suron is worth the trade for an actual motorcycle? Nah, hell no. But that dude like had a broken leg. Like he couldn't shift. So for the next however long it's going to take for him to recover, he'll be able to ride. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Like how quickly can we get back on a bike? I remember my first crash, dude. It was like two weeks later. I went and bought another bike and I was still limping. I had my friend like meet me at the dealership and take it to, to my house for me I love how like I can almost flat foot both sides like being able to do that is insane It's a life-changing feeling, you know, like riding my star on around town That's like my favorite thing is I'm able to kind of manage when I have it standing still versus when I'm riding the Aprilia I'm like tippy-toeing everywhere super annoying I'm, I'm actually gonna try to back it into a parking spot see how how it feels doing that on this bike What's funny is like a couple days ago my wife's like I kind of want to start learning how to ride and I was like really she was like yeah and I'm like well you can't ride any of these these are all thousands granny <laughs> I let Emilio ride the thousands but he started on the Grom and then I got him on the dirt bike and he's tall enough for the dirt bike my wife's not tall enough for the dirt bike and that's like the smallest bike that I have so when Michael hit me up about the FZ07 I was like hell yeah dude I can teach my wife so this will be her bike if if she ends up liking it I think I bought her like a Jigsaw in the past and she never rode it she just wasn't I don't know, I don't know maybe she's going through like a midlife crisis <laughs> <laughs> wants to start riding or maybe she sees how much fun I'm having again. I don't even think this quick shifter works in fourth third to fourth Nope, I'm like pulling on it Nothing Huh, maybe I screwed something up when I was setting up the rear sets whatever I don't think you guys are gonna see her on the channel learning how to ride. She wants nothing to do with Adobe <laughs> 
<laughs> Which is fine. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's such a different feeling being on a naked bike versus being on a super bike. It's like, oh, when I'm on this bike or like the Triumph, I don't know. I'm just chilling. I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm just enjoying the ride. Versus like the super bike, it's like I'm hunched over. It's not comfortable. I'm like first gear pretty much everywhere. Like right now, I'm in fourth gear on this bike, which it's nice. It's got a ton of torque down low. And you know, it's not this bike's not a top speed bike, not a race bike, even though you know, people do race these bikes before there was an R7 people would put track fairings on the FC07 MT07 and take it to the track I almost missed the golly gee whiz bridge we gotta of course we gotta stop here dude look how beautiful today is gee whiz you guys hear that golly <clears throat> yeah look at this beauty man Woo! Golly gee whiz! Look at this beauty! My god! Rear sets are holding up. Nothing's loose yet. <laughs> I like that it has a quick shifter. It doesn't work very good. So in my opinion, there's no point in having it. I also never tried it with the OEM rear sets. But at this point, I've gotten this far. I think I'm just gonna take them off. So this bike overall is pretty damn impressive. You can pick up like a used FZ07, depending on the year and the miles. For somewhere around 5,500 to 6,500 bucks. I think for what you spend, you get a lot. You get a really comfortable street bike. Bike. This could easily be a stunt bike, a canyon bike, or just an everyday bike. If there was ever a bike that does a little bit of everything, it would be the FC07. This is easily becoming one of my favorite naked 600s right now. Just because of how practical this bike is. It looks pretty gnarly too. That paint job is it's pretty good. What are you honking at me for? You guys want to hear it start up? <laughs> Nothing fancy. Let me see if I can get low so that you guys can hear it. That hurts my ears. <laughs> Let's go get some coffee. I keep doing the GP shifting. Man, what a beautiful day. I've been riding a lot because I'm trying to stack up on some content. It's about to be the 4th of July here. We're gonna watch some fireworks in a couple days. You know that one finger clutch? It's not that bad, but I know once I get into traffic, yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I like how the, the shift indicator is like right in the middle. The speedo's on the right. I don't know. I guess it makes it easier for you to know what gear you're in. Did it again. <laughs> GP shift is kicking my ass, dude. The way this thing rides, is, especially in first gear, it feels like it's just geared so tall. I don't know if that's the torque or the, the flash that it has. I have no idea. But it's not smooth at all in first gear. It is just really boggy and, I guess, torquey? <laughs> I don't know if this is a good... Like, everybody's like, oh, that's a great bike to learn on, but is it? You really want to be smooth when you're learning, not, like jerky i guess we'll see maybe you just got to be more smooth with it <laughs> i'm just a little rough with the bike <laughs> this does have turn signals <laughs> i'm still not used to using turn signals So I got it at about like 70 and I don't know, it wasn't that bad. I feel like I'm low enough that the wind just kind of goes over my head or maybe I just wasn't going fast enough. Fun little bike, man. Definitely a fun little bike. Oh yeah, Rustin, here we come. I haven't been here in a while, actually. <laughs> I usually just get coffee on that same road that I always ride. Oh yeah, let's just do a Woo, look at that. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful view this is, y'all. If you guys ever come to Washington, more specifically Tacoma, come take a drive to Ruston. It's really nice. But the engine braking and the throttle response is... <laughs> it's that cross plane, man. Holy cow. Like, is there a way to, like, tune this down? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's, I'm in second gear, dude. Second gear should not be as like choppy. It reminds me of my R1M, dude. Like that's that's one of the main reasons I got rid of that bike. It was just unmanageable, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little B. 
<laughs> but damn, dude. It's like I'm trying to close the throttle slow, but it's just like, it's annoying as hell. <laughs> it's annoying as hell. All right, we made it. I have not been here in a while, dude. Let's go. Coffee time. I can't drink anything too sweet. No, I think I'm like passing like a kidney stone or I passed a kidney stone last night. <sighs> Those things are not fun, dude. I gotta go to the doctor and get checked. I think I'm at that age now. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. My wife's like, it could be the C. You should go get, go get checked. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I definitely, I definitely should. No parking. Force to the fourth. <laughs> it's not the fourth yet. I think it's open. Maybe. Yeah, it should be. All right, I got the iced latte. Uh, no sugar. Oat milk. Do I miss the sugar? Yes. Is it still good? Yeah. It's pretty damn good. Right, I just finished my coffee and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of this. A lot of you guys love the FZ07 and it seems to be like the consensus that this is a great beginner bike. I don't know. I think the torque, it's, it's a little much for a beginner. I don't know if it's just this bike because it's tuned and whatever flashed, but the torque for a new rider, in my opinion, I think it's unmanageable. Now, for somebody who's experienced like me, right, I ride thousands and this i don't know i'm kind of torn it's a fun little bike i find myself in like the higher gears in the streets which which makes for a fun little ride it doesn't have the horsepower that i'm looking for 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 somebody like me if i were to go down to a 600 i'd still probably get the r6 i wouldn't get the r7 it's the same exact motor i know the r7 may have a different tune and different gear ratio and it's more of a sporty bike but i think after riding this i have no experience on the r7 but after riding this i would say definitely the r7 is it's, it's out the window for me but i don't know it might be different for y'all this guy just walked by and he was like that's a pretty bike and i'm like you, you think so and then i looked at it and i was like oh shit i mean it, it's pretty nice looking it is pretty nice looking i like the pointy tail it reminds me of an r6 actually a lot like an r6 I feel like a 600 cc should be a screaming inline four i've never ridden the rs660 but i might get one in the future who knows man who freaking knows all right let's get the out of here Yo, have a nice bike. thanks bro what is that 650? 650, yeah. Yeah, I like it too, man. It got in a little low. Um, I wrecked it a while back, but I fixed it up. That's Yeah, you're supposed to drop these things. <laughs> hey, ride it. Ride it? Yeah, ride it. Let me know what you think. What? I don't... I don't want to... No, you're good. I got full coverage. Hit it, man. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the key's up here. Mm. Yeah, it's a little... And then you just pull it down if it's uh you know put it in neutral. There you go. Is it neutral? Uh yeah. So there's a Oh okay. This is different than mine. Mine like says he. Yeah. Warm it up. It's warm. You're good to go. Yeah. Hit it bro. Yeah, that's the clutch. I was about to leave and this dude was like, I like your bike. I was like, you want to ride it? <laughs> so, this is a SV650. Pretty nice. I don't think he went anywhere. I think he just went around in a circle. You didn't take it out, bro. Take it out, man. <laughs> he just went around in a circle right here in like first gear. He's got the Back to the Future shirt on too. Hell yeah, dude. What do you think, dude? It sounds good. It sounds great. It's mean. I like the clutch. I like this. You do? You like that single finger clutch? I do. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's like a stunt clutch. The guy I bought it from, uh, he he he's like he tried like uh, stunning on it. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? It wants to go. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny, man. It's beautiful. That's cool, man. How long you been riding? Um, I've been riding for about maybe five or six years. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Nice, man. I didn't like it as much. Really? Yeah, I think the torque was like a little crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it was just like not smooth. I mean, it, it wants to go. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I want to go fast. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no, if the gears are high. I like that. You do? Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. Thanks for uh, yeah. thanks for riding. Bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. Look at this big old RV that just that just parked. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's cool. Yeah, you're fine. I'm just taking a video. <laughs> cool kid. He's a uh, Air Force. All right, moment of the truth. Can I back it up? Wow. This is my favorite part about this bike right now. <laughs> I can just back it up. I don't have to push it back anymore. I feel like 
a tall person now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go dudes. That was so fun. I'm glad I came here now. <laughs> Got to meet a new dude. New homie. Yeah. He enjoyed the ride. I also enjoyed the ride. Is this a bike that I want to keep? No. If my wife doesn't like the bike, this bike's gonna go. <laughs> End of story. Look at that view of Mount Rainier. I love coming through here in the afternoon. Look at that. My god, dude.